I've learned countless lessons from a handful of different filmmakers, but perhaps none more so than the great Stanley Kubrick. He spent his entire life working and working and working to each of his 13 movies, from his first one, Fear and Desire, to his last one, Eyes Wide Shut. And the second he took a break, he had a heart attack and died. From lighting Barry Lyndon with nothing but candles and NASA cameras, to crashing his SUV in the middle of a location scout only to immediately jump out of the car and continue pointing out the directions where the camera would be filming. Kubrick was a lunatic. But, God damn it if he wasn't a genius. The greatest lesson I ever learned from Kubrick was a lesson in horror directing. There was something he did in The Shining, which I really hadn't seen much of. In horror movies, oftentimes the scare will come from the music being tied directly to the picture. The filmmaker hits you with a scary image right as the music crescendos. But Kubrick doesn't really do that. In The Shining, you will have moments where the music implies something scary is happening when it isn't. And you'll have moments that something scary is happening and the music implies that nothing is happening. But the thing I found most fascinating was this technique he would employ where a character would turn around and see something when every other filmmaker would immediately cut to the reverse shot, Kubrick just stays on the reaction. Danny Torrance turns around and he sees the twin girls, but we don't cut. We don't turn the camera around to see them. We push in closer and closer on Danny's face until we can't take the tension anymore. And we have to look. And then and only then does the camera turn around and show us the horror that he sees. Kubrick is a genius. Kubrick is a one-of-a-kind filmmaker. 2001 A Space Odyssey is barely even a film, and yet it's the greatest one ever made. It's hard to describe that movie to someone who hasn't seen it before. The film was made in 1968, and the visual effects still hold up today.